Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Well, at about 1.43 a.m. today, December 10th, 2019, there was a magnitude 2.5 earthquake in Virginia. It says it was 21 kilometers west of Newcastle. 18 people did report feeling this. Doing a Google search on the William and Mary blogs, they have a post here of the different fault lines in Virginia. Here we have the Hayes Fault Zone by Richmond, the Lakeshore Fault, the uh, Brookledell Fault, and another Google search came up saying that most of the earthquakes in Virginia are not associated with known faults, but occur within three distinct seismic zones. The Eastern Tennessee Seismic Zone includes Lee County in the far southwest Virginia, the Giles County Seismic Zone extending through the New River Valley and the Central Virginia Seismic Zone. Now we know that earthquakes are increasing on Virginia government website. It says although Virginia has many faults, nearly all of them are inactive. Well we know that they're now becoming active, don't we? We'll zoom in a little bit to the location here on USGS. We got Blacksburg, um, Jefferson National Forest and on the felt report looks like most of them were near Blacksburg we do have uh, Staunton I might be pronouncing that wrong and we got Harrisonburg up a little bit farther north the Virginia government has here on their webpage the earthquake uh, seismic intensity report uh, different areas that are of greater hazards than others and you can see oh probably right close to here is the central Virginia seismic zone where this earthquake occurred they also have here on their web page images of sand blowholes um, from an earthquake that occurred August 23rd 2011 liquefaction sand blowholes yeah where the ground and the water moisture uh, turns into quicksand that earthquake was a magnitude 5.8 followed by a 4.5 earthquake and aftershock that earthquake was the strongest earthquake since 1944 east of the Rocky Mountains there was no death from that earthquake but it did cause a lot of damage um, estimated modeling said it was between 200 million and 300 million dollars many of these ancient faults are caused when the plates were separating and moving around different rip zones occurred uh, many of them failed to complete but this is how we got the Appalachian Mountains from uplift as the uh, different continents moved around and then over here you know we got the Atlantic Ocean which is expanding and putting pressure all along up through here and I've talked a lot about the different earthquakes that are occurring the failed rip zone that goes up around Michigan Ohio it actually comes down around oh all the way down towards um, the new Madrid fault zone just another indication that things are changing I've talked about the magnetic pole reversal that's coming the weakening of our magnetic field that's causing these earthquakes and past dormant <laughs> fault lines to becoming reactivated yeah i'm sure we're going to see more so what are your thoughts put your comments down below thank you for subscribing thank you for your support from the bottom of my heart please stay safe and i'll talk to you later god bless you bye